My name is Tavi Etiker. I'm the prime author of RD Tool. I'd like to show you something which I've been working on over the last week. RD Tool charts are normally static, such as PNG images. So I've been wondering how to make them more, well, 2015 y. People nowadays expect to be able to drag and pinch and shove stuff around on web pages. So I have this little server which generates PNG RD charts and I used a little JavaScript to get all those motions people do with the mouse or with on the touch screen um, onto the RD tool server and just generate new RD tool graphs on the fly. And uh, well, let me show you what I got now. What we have here is a normal RD graph. The ones which you know from your monitoring systems, right? So, but in contrast to a normal RD graph, if I use the mouse and, and click on it and start dragging, I can actually drag the content around. If I drag vertically, start scaling, and if I roll the mouse wheel, it scales as well. And all that happens is that my JavaScript here in the browser just keeps on sending charting requests with different start and end times to the server. And since the server is pretty fast, it's able to fulfill them such that a motion effect occurs. While I was doing that, I discovered that the labeling on the x-axis wasn't really working all that well for high resolution charts. And so I spent all of yesterday afternoon getting this working right. with the latest RD tool 1.5 release candidate two, you get proper x-axis labels for the whole range from one second resolution to 30 years, as you can see now. Now in my example graph, I have really little data, so that's not all that attractive, but if you observe the, uh, labels on the x-axis, you can see they're now working nicely over a very wide range of time. So much for my demonstration. If you have the time, please give RD to 1.5 Release Candidate 2 a try. You can download it off our website, rdtool.org. Thank you.